Hi, I'm Dave Vaughan from Mad Baits, and I'm here today with our head consultant, Jerry Hammond, uh, to take a look at uh, one of our new baits and some of our new products. I gather this one's uh, a big favourite of yours, Jerry. It's our new Pandemic. Yeah, mate. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Uh, well, I first started using it sort of early last year when it's under development, and I know like uh, it was it was originally put out for the boys on the river because it was just a brilliant barbel bait, a little bit soft. So what's been happened is they've hardened it up a little bit more. Uh, it's a really good blend of free fish meals, and uh, it gives off all the all, everything I want it to give off in a bait. It just sends all the right signals for me as a really good sort of uh, a good feed bait basically throughout the summer and, and early winter. Um, but saying that, the the river guys caught so many fish on it, and like I say, at Mare Baits we've we've changed it and we've made it into a, a good carp bait now for the lads and they're all using it. Yeah, we made it a little bit firmer than it was originally designed for the barbel boys, but it's still. It's still a soft bait within mm. itself anyway, so oh, yeah. it's not one you're going to be whacking out great distances with a no. throwing stick. I mean, I tend to put it out with a spawn. Yeah. Um, I just just use a small spawn, get a nice spread of yeah. bait with it, and it, it works really well I'll for me. I'll put it out like frozen that. if I can, and it's, it goes out all right. Cool. Happy days. We've also got to go with that. We do the, uh, we do the pop-ups in the same colour, yeah. so you can match the hatch as it were. Uh, we, also, um, we also do the pop-ups in a nice pink, uh, along with wafters, so you can uh, get that eye-catching hook bait down yeah. on the bottom to work with and the... They come uh, with like, little glugs in them anyway, don't they, Dem? That's the one, yeah. Yeah, they come with a... It's, it's, a, it's pure flavouring, yeah. uh, so you can really boost up your... Um, really boost okay. up the wafters. When we make the wafters, they naturally don't hold the flavour quite as well as the pop-ups because right. of the base mix that's yeah. in them. Yeah. So uh, we give you the extra boost in that and, uh, and you can liven it real, really yeah. liven it up. Following on from the pandemic, uh, which we were just talking about, uh, the company's actually licensed, as you know, by, by Hades to uh, to use Robin Red in, in our boilies yeah. and, and, and to do other products. We're one of the Robin only companies Red. with it, are we at the minute? We are, yes, we are. There's very good. few companies worldwide, which has now enabled us to uh, to bring out this uh, this Hates Robin Red liquid version, uh, which I absolutely love. I've been mixing this with a couple of other bits and pieces, uh, one of the oils that we, we're going to show you in a minute, uh, and using this for, for pre-glugging my boilies with, I take them out of the freezer, let them partially defrost in a bucket, pour some of this mixed with the oil over the top of them and leave them for a couple of days before I use them. And the bleed off that you get with yeah. it, I, I, I gather you're doing a similar kind of yeah, thing. Mate. It was something we used to do years ago, we used to glug our baits and we were salmon oil and stuff like that and like, it was just one amazing attraction there. But now with that, with the, with the liquid Robin Red, it just tops it off, doesn't it? Yeah, it gives it that sort of that peppery, spicy boost, yeah. which works really well with the um, with the, 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 the sort of the sausagey yeah. flavour yeah. of the, uh, the boiler. new flavours, uh, oh. I'll let you explain to everyone, it's, uh, it's a an, an hemp oil with a, a yeah. flavour in it. Well, it's a cold pressed hemp oil. Um, like I've always liked to put a little bit of something extra in my bait. And what, what they've done at the factory is they've had the, the hemp oil there for a while. Like like we said, anyone can get hemp oil, but we've now blended it with um, like the flavourings as well, mm. which goes with all the range, I believe. Um, but for me, there's nothing better than the wicked white like hemp oil over like just over the top of my freebies well, like one you know. of the wicked white's one of your favorites yeah, anyway yeah, i've always done so well on it it's an instant uh, catcher for me wherever i go i don't need to know anything about the lake it'll always be a little scattering of, of wicked white white freebies and a little white one over the top it's a winner every time and it, well, it's every and, time and it, yeah why change things the only thing i have changed is we've started glugging up the the freebies with a bit of uh, extra attraction and with that little subtle wicked white smell to it it's just amazing perfect works for me mate In the, uh, in the in the new stuff in the in the liquids range is the uh, the fresh virgin salmon oil. Um, there's lots and lots of salmon oils out there on the market, and uh, we wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, so rather than just sort of follow the crowd and bring out a standard salmon oil, uh, we decided to go to the top end of the market and bring out a, a virgin salmon oil, which is you know the best you can get. Um, just because that's what we like to do. We like to give give the angler and the fish the best that we can give them. Uh, great if you if you want to put it on a, a little bit on your floaters, get the top flattening off nicely, soaking up your baits. I tend to use it in um, many ways, but one of the ways I do use it is in bags. Mm. Uh, when I'm bag fishing, I've got a, a little syringe I use, and last minute I inject some of that in, uh, and you get just such a rise yeah. and such a bleed off from yeah. it, you know. And also it gives you an indication. 
um, as to whether you've got fish moving about in your swim, you get the little flat spots coming yeah, up. Yeah, definitely. Uh, works really well. Uh, something that I know you used as well, Joe. I'm a massive fan of salmon oil. I've been trying to get us like to get hold of a really good salmon oil for years, and you know, like way back when we used to use it when we were youngsters, we used to glug all our fish mills up and it a lovely big oil slick out there, and it kind of no one does it no more. You see yeah. a few of the old school anglers doing it, and they're the ones that generally catch in, like you know. Yeah. It's just a real, real good edge, and like a massive, massive edge, I'd say, and, and it's a real favourite of mine from way back. And like, I can't wait to get hold of someone out. I think I might take that bottle with me, actually. To be honest. <laughs> I think this one's going in my car. <laughs> <couple. laughs> Typical, but we've got right? a couple more for you, don't okay. worry about it. Cheers, mate. Uh, an another nice thing with this, another little tip, is, is in the warm weather, uh, fish meals tend to turn a little bit quicker. Um, and people struggle with them when they're fishing, doing a week session or something like that. You glug them up in a little bit of salmon oil, it tends to seal them, holds them together for a little bit longer, uh, stops, the, uh, stops the sugars and salts bleeding out quite so much. You want that coming out in the water, not on the bank. Um, so a little tip thrown in there for you. Yeah. Well, I gather the boys are coming down to you at Carthagena next yes, week. Uh, yeah. I, I won't be around, unfortunately, but Sorry. they're coming down to, yeah. to Carthagena and uh, you're going to show, show, us, show us some yeah. of these products in action? Yeah, we've got the opening night there. I've got myself a half decent swim. I went in the draw, like all fair and square, but I come out all right and I've got a lovely <laughs> swim. I can't wait to get started and the lads are going to turn up and we can put, the, put some of the product through its paces and see them in action and hopefully see them in action, see me catching something. That'd that's be a, great. That's the plan, last word said, like probably blank. Never mind. <laughs> I doubt it, uh, not with your skills and these products. I think we're, I think we're pretty well covered Let's there. Let's hope so. Eh? Look forward to seeing you next week, mate. Nice one, Dave. Take care. Cheers, mate. Thank you.